In May, town meeting approved a zoning change to support the redevelopment of the Needham Housing Authority's Linden Chamber Complex. However, before construction can start, the project needs to go through the planning board's site plan review to address important issues like drainage, traffic flow, and community concerns. On Tuesday, September 24th, the planning board held a public hearing about the Needham Housing Authority's proposed four-story apartment building on Linden Street, which aims to provide 136 units, mostly one-bedroom apartments. Here's municipal producer Yu Xiaowen with the highlights from the meeting. Right now, the Linden Street complex includes 72 studio units designated for low-income elderly and disabled residents. The proposed redevelopment would nearly double this number, increasing the total by 90% and broadening eligibility to households earning at or below 80% of the area median income. While the planning board generally supports the project for its potential to improve living conditions and serve more residents in need, Members stress the importance of addressing key concerns before granting approval. Among the issues raised was the drainage system. The town engineer recommends additional on-site stormwater storage that exceeds standard requirements due to historical flooding in the area. The board voiced strong support for this suggestion. Although you've done a study for mm. two, five, 25, and 100-year storms, the frequency of the 25 and 100-year storms yeah. is is, has a greater cadence or greater frequency in the last 25 years than those storms occurred before that period. And as a result, what we're saying is there's a lot more water. And it's a real concern for you know, residents in the area. Um, and so we want to make sure that every precaution is being taken. The applicant's traffic study indicated the proposed redevelopment would generate fewer than 80 additional vehicle trips during each peak hour, with negligible impact on nearby intersections. In addition, board member Justin McCullen noted the district's plans to convert the nearby High Rock School into an elementary school could change traffic patterns in the area. I foresee probably even more kids walking to school than coming by car. But I admit that I have to say, anecdotally, um, it's, it's going to be like awful for 15 minutes two times a day. And, but, but the thing is, it's only 15 minutes two times a day. And my read are, are, are okay with the traffic study that, that was done. And I think that given its current use as a middle school actually decreased the traffic in its future use as an elementary school in terms of the number of cars. However, James Burke, a current Linden tenant, voiced opposition to the redevelopment at the scale, emphasizing the increased traffic from the development combined with the activity from the school could worsen congestion in the area. It's going to be holy hell with the cars trying to get in, trying to get out. Several other tenants shared their concerns as well. Marlene Costa raised issues regarding fire safety, specifically pointing out the lack of a fire lane at the back of the building. Although the fire chief had no objections to the current plan, Costa remained uneasy about the building's accessibility during an emergency. The fire department cannot bring their trucks behind which would be for 50% of the building where the residents are living, I, you know, which is a very serious issue. Costa also expressed concerns about resident evacuation, noting the building's windows are designed with openings that prevent objects larger than four inches in diameter from passing through. If there was a fire emergency, how, and you know, they would erect ladders and people, there are no windows, they don't open. So I don't know how people could get out of the building safely. Dan Chen, representing the architectural firm, clarifies the restriction on window openings complies with building code regulations. He further explained the building's design incorporates features intended to support firefighting efforts. Modern day building fire protection, the strategy is, is to actually shelter in place. It's not about uh, being rescued outside of the windows. These are fully sprinkler buildings. And it is correct that it is a type five uh, wood construction building, but these modern buildings, they do not want you to go outside. In fact, the walls are fire rated for that purpose. The proposed plan outlines two fire lanes located on the sides of both wings of the building with one lane connecting to a paved walkway that leads to the back entrance. 
Chen explains this design was necessitated by the spatial constraints posed by the adjacent wetland buffer zone. We are very tight on the backside, uh, and so it's either the wetland or providing a whole swath of access. This was, this was discussed extensively with the fire department. The new structure will not encroach upon the 25-foot wetland buffer, in contrast to the existing buildings which intrude into the buffer by 400 square feet. The planning board voted to continue the hearing until October 15th, allowing more time for the applicant and the Department of Public Works to develop a detailed stormwater management plan. The board also requested further confirmation from the fire department concerning safety compliance. The applicant emphasized a favorable decision from the planning board is essential before the end of October as it's necessary for pursuing state funding in November. For Lindam Channel News, I'm Yu Xiaoyuan.